Hey friends, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, a full-time reseller. I wanted to go over today my what sold on eBay for the weekend. Starting out with my garage sale. I did my first ever eBay clean out garage sale and it was a huge success. Absolute success. So I was going into it with very little expectations. I knew when I cleared out all my old inventory that those were all lessons. Those are all things that I bought before that I would not buy again today. Sell through rate being the biggest, biggest reason I would never buy those items. While they were profitable items, the sell through rate was super low and I was sitting on them for over two years now. It was time to get it out of my store. I could play the game of relisting it, changing the price, dropping the price, running promotions. I did a lot of that already, and then fast forward, it was still in my store. So if this is your first time joining me, I have been spending the last two weeks cleaning out my inventory and getting things over to a garage sale. Um, I think I cleared out at least 200 items. There were some items that I was pretty strict on how much I wanted to get for it because I knew what I paid for it. Um, but other than that, everything else was just very low prices and... I only brought home maybe three things that I said when I go in, went into it, everything else will be donated, but these few items I want to bring back because I know the value in them. And it just, it was just that there wasn't a buyer at my garage sale. Doesn't mean the item's not profitable. It just means they didn't show up in the three days that we ran the sale. Um, one of it being a Halloween set, um, of animated bride and groom um i put that up on marketplace so hopefully i mean halloween's coming so that should sell um the other thing i brought back a couple starbucks tumblers um i had 15 to 20 of them that i paid too much for at a yard sale um and i knew if they didn't sell there they were going to come home with me i only took two home i'd say that's pretty darn good and i was a hundred percent either break even or made a little bit of profit on them so that was my main goal was to get rid of those Starbucks mugs. But everything else, I had a profit of, I cannot believe this, $1,300 in this garage sale weekend. These were items that were old inventory, stale items, things I've had in my store for way too long. Um, probably, oh my gosh, more than half of it ended up being profitable. There's probably the other half that I broke even or lost a little bit of money. But because of enough of them were profits, because rule number one in reselling is buy your item right. If I'm only paying a dollar or two for these items and I make three or four at a garage sale, I'm thrilled. I'm not going to make three dollars on eBay. That's not worth my time. But when this garage sale was all said and done, I profited over thirteen hundred dollars. So, OK, I should say that's a gross profit. I don't know what the cost of goods was on all those items. Um and I can't at this point, it's so old that I just want to get rid of it. So even if I said $200, $300 cost of good, that's still over a thousand bucks for a weekend. It was hot as can be. We were over a hundred degrees every day, not the season for garage sales around here, but we had to time it with an estate sale that my sister's mother-in-law, um, she passed away. We were clearing out the house. So it's a multi-family deal. Um, but Yes, definitely 100%. Clean your inventory. Do a garage sale. It is so refreshing, and you get some extra money in your pocket. All right, so point of this video is what sold for the weekend. Slow sales, because over the last two weeks, I have been putting most of my focus in that sale. I have not been listing as much. I have not been... I haven't been tending to the eBay business. I've been tending to the garage sale business. So the store definitely took a hit to that. So I have nine items going out. Um, uh, still profit. I think it was gross, just over 400. So not awful, but, um, if I were putting this, the effort that I normally do, I usually see close to a thousand dollar weekend. Um, a little slow right now. August usually is, but like I said, if I put more effort into it, you definitely see the reward in the end. When I neglect the store, sales slow down. Um, but that's just the name of the game. I knew my focus were needed to be in that garage sale and I am happy with that. So let's dive in. First thing, a garage remote, a quarter. I paid a quarter for this guy and he sold for 15 bucks. So little tiny bread and butter, but remotes, I love remotes. We can get them cheap. Uh, this Woodstock collection, 
Time Life is my jam. If you can find Time Life collections, they seriously hold their value. So this collection I picked up um, two weeks ago. I had bought a bunch of records from a guy um, in the state. An old gentleman passed away. Family was there clearing the house. I bought totes of stuff. Concert shirts, records, CDs, tapes, all of it. I'm only, I've only listed maybe half of it. Um, I sold the records for over $200. Um, and now these sold for 50 bucks. So I'm well into the profit of that sale. And anytime you can find Time Life, always, always grab it. If the price is right, look it up if you're unsure. Orby Router. Orby is an amazing brand right now. Super hot, over 100% sell through rate. This is a little plug-in, um, I think it's an extender, a satellite. Uh, so it's a Wi-Fi thing, uh, but it holds its value. I paid $15 um, at my local thrift and it sold for 70 bucks. So yeah, these are serious money right now. Little Florida State hat. Um, this was that same sale. This was the same sale that um, I got the Woodstock at were these Florida hats. I have some other Florida shirts. I've got Florida jackets or hoodies and so much Florida gear. Uh, so I don't even, like, a quarter maybe into this. I'm already in the profit of this whole sale. So I'm not even going to count it as a cost of good. $13.50 is what this guy sold for. Easy little bread and butter. Easy to ship. All the above. All the things we like in reselling. Um, we've got some Steve Madden shoes. I thought these were going to go faster. How hot are these shoes? Super blingy, just gorgeous shoes. Really good condition. A um, little bit of wear on the bottom. I don't clean my shoes. So there's people that will tell you all the tricks and all the bleaches and all the pens to use to clean the shoes. If it's not in clean enough condition to list it, I don't buy it. Bottom line. I don't want to spend my time cleaning shoes. I don't. And when I first started, I would have taken this to my laundry sink, soaked it with some Clorox pen, and scrubbed the crap out of them. Not anymore. Um, that does not hurt my shoe sales. I make sure when I am buying shoes, they are clean enough to list. It's that simple. I'm not buying shoes that are icky and gross and stained. And No, I'll leave that for somebody else. So not my game to clean shoes. I only buy shoes that are clean enough to list. So these bad boys... I paid $7 and I sold for 45 bucks in this condition. Um, what else we got today? We've got a techie thing. This um, recorder was personal property. This was my father-in-law's. He gave it to me to sell. It's a tech thing. It's a computer part. Um, it can record um, CD duplicator, CD recorder. It's a techie thing. I knew I'd sit on this for a while because you ha it has to have a certain buyer, obviously, who wants this. But um, zero cost of good, oh, 50 bucks. That was a good one. Okay, then we've got two more things. Okay, we'll start with these boots. Laredo boots. These were from my dealer. Um, he taught me this awesome hack of zip tying boots together. So when they're in my store, I'm not losing them. Um, I would have paid... 20 to 30 on these. I want to say the 20 because I think this was the original old pricing. Pricing has changed with him, but um, I think this was the original old pricing and it was right around $30, 20 to $30. Um, but they sold for $97. So some good looking Laredo boots, 97 bucks. All right. Then the best sale of the weekend, same source, same dealer, Ciratelli hat. It was in a resist all box. So this guy, Ceratelli, one, two, three, six X Beaver. You want to look for that when you're looking at hats. It'll have the X's on the inside. They print the size. This is a brand new hat. Um, there'll be a picture of it up on the screen. And it sold for 200 bucks. I took an offer. Um, I want to clear this inventory. I still have too much of it. I want to buy more. So clear the inventory. And I took an offer of 20 bucks. So great thing about this being in a hat that doesn't or a box that doesn't belong to this hat, I can ship it in this box. This is actually the best box for it. It's super tight in there. It's not going to wiggle around. It has a form where the top of the hat goes to keep it from getting bent. Uh, I'm just going to take this up and tape this up and stick a label to it. Um, I will tape up the holes so nothing gets in it. 
easiest thing to ship. So 200 bucks for that. And I lied. One more thing to the sold Guitar Hero. These are amazing. I sell Guitar Hero all the time. They used to sell for a lot more. Uh, this one is worn on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Probably will probably zoom in. Um, the cable cover, the plastic cable cover is starting to corrode. Uh, but it is tested and it does work. So this guy only sold for $40. Um, but rule number one with Guitar Hero, always test it. There are many times that it does not work. Buttons go bad. Um, the little flicky thing goes bad. The whammy goes weak. The donk, this thingy can go bad. Yeah, always test your guitars. So this guy, I'm in it $3. Was it three? Yeah, I paid $3 at this for at some thrift. I forget which one, um, but sold for $40. All right, so that was everything. We've got cost of good $88 and gross profit right around 500 bucks. So I am, I'm happy with it. I think it was still a pretty decent weekend. It's nice to make money while you're making money. Um, the best part of the weekend, of course, goes to that garage sale. And if there's anything here that hopefully you learned, um, that you now can source your sourcing business for your sourcing business, for your eBay business, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you like all things resale, and I will see you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.